calculating the heat of the phase changes of water. Using the base equation Q equals M delta TCP, where Q is the heat measured in joules, M is the mass measured in grams, delta T is represented by TF minus TI is the change in temperature at degrees Celsius, and our specific heat capacity is measured in joules per grams degrees Celsius. We understand that water has three separate phases, solid, liquid, and gas. It is a solid below zero degrees Celsius and has a specific heat capacity at this point of 2.06 joules per gram degrees Celsius. Between zero and 100 degrees Celsius, water is a liquid and its specific heat capacity is 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius. Above 100 degrees Celsius, water turns to steam or a gas and has a specific heat of 2.02 joules per gram degrees Celsius. At zero degrees Celsius, the melting and fusion phase change point, the specific heat capacity of water is 334 joules per gram. And at the vaporization and condensation point at 100, 100 degrees Celsius, the specific heat capacity is 2,261 joules per gram. To calculate the amount of heat required to melt 20 grams of ice at negative 12 degrees Celsius as it is converted to steam at 120 degrees Celsius, we need to understand that water will undergo five separate steps. From negative 12 up to zero, at zero, from zero to 100, at 100, and from 100 to 120. The calculation for this looks like this, 20 grams, times the quantity of zero minus a negative 12 degrees Celsius times the specific heat of 2.06 joules per gram degrees Celsius. This gives us a value of 494.4 joules. At phase two, 20 grams times 334 joules per gram, there is no change in temperature. This is a horizontal phase change, giving us a value of 6,680 joules. In third phase, 20 grams times the quantity of 100 minus zero times the specific heat of 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius gives us 8,360 joules. At 100 degrees Celsius, 20 grams times 2,261 joules per gram. Again, at a horizontal phase change, there is no change in temperature. This gives us 45,220 joules. And in the last phase, 20 grams times 120 minus 100 times 2.02 .02 joules per gram gives us a heat, capa heat value of 1,010 joules. We add up all five of these phases and get a total joule heat change of 61,764.4 joules. What amount of heat is required to cool 120 grams of water to 32 degrees Celsius from steam at 115 degrees Celsius. For this, we will only require three phases. The reason we are only going to use three phases is we are only changing from 115 down to 32. Phase one will include the step from 115 down to 100. Phase two will be the horizontal phase change at 100 degrees Celsius. And phase three will take us from 100 degrees Celsius down to 32 degrees Celsius. In this case, 120 grams times a negative change of 15 degrees Celsius times the specific heat capacity of steam 2.02 .02 joules per gram gives us a value of negative 3,636 joules. 120 grams times negative 2,261 joules per gram gives us a value of negative 271,320 joules. In this case, the specific heat capacity is negative because we are going down the temperature scale. The last phase is 120 grams with a change of negative 68 degrees Celsius at 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius for a joule amount of 34,108.8. This gives us a total value of lost heat of negative 309,064.8 joules.